What is Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? Let's begin. Did you know that Bitcoins are deemed as the future of currency and that is one of the fastest ways to make money in the online world at the moment? However, what exactly is Bitcoin? If you are new to this field or have just heard of Bitcoins, then there's probably a lot of questions on your mind right now. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a form of digital currency. In 2013, this digital currency suddenly shot up in price from $13 to an unbelievable price of over $1,000. Its popularity soared after that. Bitcoins are in fact a kind of electronic money. The first cryptocurrency started circulating in 2009 and over which the government or traditional banking protocols have no control of. In traditional currencies, the decision regarding the amount to be printed depends heavily upon factors such as inflation and is governed and regulated by a central bank. Contrary to this, there is no central authority to regulate Bitcoin in other cryptocurrency supply and transactions. It is the people's confidence in this digital currency that decides its value. So, the more people who believe in it, the better the demand and the higher the price will go. The Use of Bitcoins you can use bitcoins to purchase things from people who accept these electronic currencies. Moreover, since these coins are digital, they can even be transferred over the internet through the proper software, thereby leading to successful online transactions. Bitcoins are quite an attractive proposition if you're looking forward to the settlement of international transactions but hate being plagued by exchange rates or bank charges. The Aftermath the wild success of Bitcoin has inspired the launch of a number of other competing cryptocurrencies such as PPC coin, Frycoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and so on. You can go to Cripsy.com for a list of tradable and active coins that are available today. How does Bitcoin work? Bitcoins are actually generated by computers online by dealing with difficult math tasks and is more widely known as Bitcoin mining. The math tasks in the Bitcoin mining are programmed to progressively increase in difficulty. This means it'll become more and more difficult to mine Bitcoins over time and the total amount of Bitcoins that will ever be mined is capped at 21 million coins. Hence, because of this very unique arrangement, no central bank has control over the flow of bitcoins or can manipulate its value which is already in circulation. All the computers in the network are coded to be used to monitor and verify the validity of each bitcoin that is mined and all the transactions between users. Around 25 new bitcoins are mined every 10 minutes. Which is why more and more Bitcoin miners are building powerful computers just for the use of Bitcoin mining. Bitcoins can be bought, sold, or traded with real money in a lot of online exchanges. One of the biggest advantages of Bitcoins and digital currency is that it can be used in international transactions without any bank charges or exchange rates and the fees are so small, it's almost negligible. The History of Bitcoin the beginning. It is essential to understand where Bitcoin and digital currencies come from in order to understand what it has in store for us in the future. The creator of Bitcoin is still a mystery, but there are a lot of people who believe that it was Satoshi Nakamoto who created it in 2007. Bitcoin.org first surfaced on the internet in 2008. The growth. The first Bitcoin transaction was conducted in 2009 between Mr. Satoshi and Hal Finney, a cryptographic activist and a developer. In the same year, an exchange rate is published for this electronic currency with a value against US dollars at 1309.03 BTC per dollar. In 2010, a truly historic event took place when 10,000 Bitcoins, which was worth $25 at the time, was spent on pizza. It was one of the first transactions that involved a tangible product. Today, that amount of Bitcoin will be equivalent to at least $5 million. Coming into present A range of events geared up in 2011, including significant ones like Bitcoin becoming on par with the US dollar, an offer to sell a vehicle for Bitcoins, the opening of exchange markets with respect to the British pound, sterling, and Brazilian real, and so on. In 2013, the market capitalization of Bitcoin rose to $1 billion and in April 2013, the value went beyond $100. 
From 2013 onwards, space travel could be conducted in exchange of bitcoins by Virgin Galactic, a company that belongs to Richard Branson. The Big Bang At the end of 2013, bitcoins and other digital currencies suddenly exploded in price thanks to the power of the media and the internet bringing the peak price to $1,000 per coins. The popularity of bitcoins and other digital currencies bloomed from there. Ways to Cash In on Bitcoins and Other Cryptocurrencies there are four main ways to profit from bitcoins. The first method is to mine coins and sell them for profits. The second method is to invest in the digital currency with real money and then sell it again for a profit. The third method is to offer services or products in exchange for bitcoins or cryptocurrencies. The fourth method is to get free bitcoins. The first method. Mining bitcoins and then selling it for money requires a lot of calculations on the miner's part in order to profit from. A good miner has to understand the technical side of this digital currency and the cost of entry that one has to purchase the hardware to mine the coins. The second method. Investing and trading in digital currencies is one of the easiest and fastest ways to get started in making money with digital currencies. It does not require a lot of technical knowledge, but it does require your time to monitor charts and the news for better results. The third method. Selling your products and services for bitcoins is one of the most secure ways to acquire bitcoins over the internet. The benefit here is that you will not have to pay any of those huge bank or transaction fees. The downside here is that the price of bitcoins changes rather fast and you'll have to wait for the right price before you can cash out. The fourth method. This is perhaps the slowest method. There are numerous sources out there to grab bitcoins for free. Most of them will require your time to do something in return such as clicking or viewing ads and much more. Simple Steps to Mining Step 1. Get yourself a Bitcoin wallet. Step 2. Prepare and calculate your mining rig. Step 3. Connect your mining rig to a client such as CG Miner. You can download CG Miner here for free at github.com slash c k o l i v a s slash CG Miner or do a search on Google for other miners. Step 4. Configure your mining rig. Note, you can choose to mine bitcoins or cryptocurrencies. For bitcoin mining, it is recommended to join bitcoin mining pools to maximize your mining efforts. For cryptocurrencies, you can connect your miner to services such as middlecoin.com for automated mining and payments in bitcoin. Another good place to connect your miner to is hashco.ws. Final step, start mining. Mining Digital Currencies, Part 1, The Basics. Mining Bitcoin requires a PC to be running and connected to the internet non-stop in order to churn out the coins. This means the cost that you will have to bear to mine bitcoins or other crypto coins is the cost of the hardware, the cost of the electricity, and the cost of the internet fees. The hardware. One of the more popular ways and still profitable ways to mine coins these days is to mine crypto coins such as Litecoin or Dogecoins and then convert them into Bitcoins later on. What you'll need is a basic PC that can run two or more graphic cards at the same time. What do you need to know? The PC must be able to withstand the heat produced from running the mining rig non-stop. The rough estimate for a basic mining rig will roughly cost $1,000, and it must have a strong enough power supply that can power the graphic cards that you use for mining. One should never use a laptop to mine coins unless you want it to melt. There are many mining methods out there, example, mining with PS3 or mining with an ASIC miner. For a more detailed and very good mining guide with a PC, we recommend this URL. CryptoBadger.com slash build dash your dash own dash Litecoin dash mining dash rig. Mining Digital Currencies Part 2 Calculations for Profits Mining for coins by paying for electricity and the mining rig. So be sure that you calculate how long it is before you actually profit.
The golden rule of mining is to mine until the price of your profit is equivalent to the price of the electricity. When the price of bitcoins is high, you will see a faster ROI. Example. At the time of writing an estimated cost in my country, the cost of a mining rig with two GPU cards, R9-280X, is about $900, give or take. So if the electricity bill is $40 per month, and you're getting about 0.015 bitcoins a day from middlecoin.com, one would be getting around 0.45 BTC per month. So, if the price of BTC is $650, 0.45 BTC equals $292.50 per month. Minus the electricity bill, you get $252.50 per month. At a cost of $900, it'll take you roughly three and a half months to break even with your cost, and then after that, it'll be estimated at $252 in profit per month. Note that the calculation above will vary in different countries, different mining rig builds, the cost of hardware available in your country, and the price of Bitcoin itself. Of course, if you want to earn more, the general way to do this is to build more rigs with more mining power. But for starters, it's recommended for you to start with a lesser cost at first. The example that I have shown you is based on a GPU mining rig. For ASIC miners, you may pay more for the ASIC hardware, but the good thing is it produces less heat and noise and possibly consumes much less power as well. Again, do your calculations before you choose the right mining rig that you may want to invest in. Warning. Always take into the calculation the saturation of the coin that you are mining and the ever-increasing difficulties that are associated with mining for best accuracies. Make sure that the amount that you have can bring the fastest return on investment. If it takes too long to generate a return, it is better to try other methods to make money with digital currencies. Go here for a great mining calculator and profitability charts. Coinwars.com slash cryptocurrency Trading in Bitcoins or Other Digital Currencies The two investment strategies. Strategy number one, the arbitrage strategy. Strategy number two, the buy and hold strategy. Method two, Bitcoins trading. The concept of investing in Bitcoins is very easy. The main idea here is to buy when the price is low and sell it off when the price is higher. You will find that both investing strategies that we touch is based on the above concept in order to profit. How to get started. There are numerous Bitcoin exchanges online that you can join to trade Bitcoins. One of our recommended Bitcoin exchanges online is btc-e.com. Strategy number one, the arbitrage strategy. The arbitrage strategy is a very simple way to make money with Bitcoins. What you need to do is monitor the Bitcoin or crypto charts closely and buy Bitcoins at a very low price and then when the price shoots high, you sell it back. The good news is that at btc-e.com, you can do all this automatically where you can place your buy or sell orders at the price that you want. This strategy is very simple and you can profit from it almost daily as long as you follow a tight strategy and do not get too greedy. It is recommended to start small first and get used to the movements of the digital currency's price before investing big dollars. Strategy number two, the buy and hold strategy. The buy and hold strategy is based on the belief that in the future, the price of the digital currency, mainly bitcoins, will be higher than the price is now. In fact, many investors are collecting bitcoins like a cult and not selling at all. They believe in the future, the price of bitcoins will be 10 times or 50 times more than the price is now. Some of the reasons why a lot of people believe that Bitcoin's price will keep going up in the future is because it is rare and limited to only 21 million coins. The mining of Bitcoin is getting harder day by day. All this means is that its rarity will cause the price to go way beyond what we've seen today. Another reason for the price increase is that the demand of Bitcoin will only increase due to the fact that you can save on transaction fees. When you pair rarity and demand, it is no wonder why many people are sticking to the buy and hold strategy. Throughout history, the people who made the most money out of Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies was achieved via this strategy. Accepting Bitcoins Who are already accepting Bitcoins? More and more big companies are accepting Bitcoins right now. 
Let's take a look at some of these big brands. Overstock.com, The Humble Bundle, Namecheap, TigerDirect.com, Lamborghini, Alley Watch, Zero Hedge, Playboy, Virgin Galactic, US Hobby, Reddit, Zynga. Accepting Bitcoins is easy. All you have to do is provide an option for people to pay via Bitcoin. Go to this URL for a comprehensive guide on how to accept Bitcoins for your online business. en.bitcoin.it slash wiki slash how underscore to underscore accept underscore Bitcoin comma underscore four underscore small underscore businesses. Converting your coins into money. So what do you do with the coins that you acquire from your business? You can then sell it off in Bitcoin exchanges or use it to buy other merchandise that accepts Bitcoins. In fact, you can use the coins that you acquired to invest and trade for even more profits. Getting Free Bitcoins Free Bitcoins are out there. As I've mentioned before, there are numerous sources out there that offer free Bitcoins. Most of them will require your time to do something in return such as clicking or viewing ads or work for it and much more. Let us take a look at some of them. Where to find them? Work for Bitcoin offers you the opportunity to search job listings as well as post them. The majority of the work here involves programming. Work in other fields is also available, so you can always find something that you're good at and that interests you. Bitask.com Bitcoin Talk Forum Services section is another viable place to search for jobs that help you earn Bitcoins. Many of the jobs here can be done within a short span of time, and hence you can earn your digital currencies swiftly. BitcoinTalk.org Jobs for Bitcoins on Reddit concentrates on dishing out job listings mainly for programmers, but here you are capable of searching jobs in other fields as well. Reddit.com slash r slash jobs for Bitcoins. Another online job board that comes with a range of job offers is BitGigs. Check out the variety of jobs available. BitGigs.com Coinality is another job site that deals in cryptocurrencies. However, unlike other such portals, it follows the innovative approach of listing the jobs as well as displaying them over a map. Coinality.com Fast Start Game Plan What first? Step 1. Understand the potential of Bitcoins and pick a method first that suits you. Step 2. Select the type of wallet that would suit your needs and download it. Security Note Make sure you do not forget or share your wallet's password around. Use a very good password and make sure that you have a backup copy of your wallet at all times. Keeping it simple. Earn Bitcoins using the method of your choice. Choose between mining, trading, etc. Spend Bitcoins on available goods and services or hold your Bitcoins and sell them off for cash at a very good price. Many people believe that Bitcoin's price is just on the baby stage at the moment and it will hike to a very high price in the future. Take action now. The future of currencies is here. It is up to you now whether or not you will be part of this mega money maker and make a great amount of money from this trend, or if you will miss out on this modern gold rush. Start gathering your Bitcoins today, and when the price shoots up again, you could be the next Bitcoin millionaire.